How to install Wine to use Mineways on a Mac. Firstly, if we're in Blender and have the MC Prep add-on, we're going to click on Open Mineways. This will prompt us to click and download Mineways, which we can do so by using the Windows link. This is going to download a .zip file, which contains an exe. If Chrome blocks you, just go down to the bottom here and say Keep. Now this is an exe file. We actually need to install Wine, which is an emulator for exe files. To do this, click on the Mac instructions here, and then you'll see you're prompted to go and install Wine. We're gonna go through these steps very briefly. Here's some more background on what this is, and I will say it is a little bit technical, but bear with us, and hopefully the steps I'm showing here will walk you through everything that's necessary. I can confirm that I do personally use Mineways on a Mac using Wine, so I can tell you that currently it does work, although your uh, experience may vary. Um, but the first thing you'll notice is we need to install Homebrew, which is a specific software for Mac OS X. So in order to do this, I'm going to quit Blender in the meantime. We don't need that for now. And then I'm gonna to go to my Applications folder. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see under Utilities, there is something called the terminal window. You can also search in the spotlight window for terminal. Now I'm gonna put these instructions side by side just to make this a little bit easier. I'm gonna close out that. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So the first thing we wanna do is install the actual homebrew itself. So copying that entire command, starting with Ruby. We're gonna run install here. It will ask you for your password, so go ahead and do that. And we're gonna press enter to return, or to continue. Now this may take a little bit. Essentially, Homebrew is a general purpose package installer that's used for installing lots of things for developers typically. Um, but through this, we're gonna be able to install the actual Wine binaries in a very consistent and easy way. So this will take a minute. We'll resume once it is finished. Finally, you should see that an installation successful message prints out to the screen. If there are other errors, don't be too concerned. In my case, I had installed other libraries using Homebrew before, so it's detecting and having some issues with those. But the main next step you want to take is Brew Doctor. This just makes sure that everything is working correctly. So we're gonna run this, then after a minute, we should hopefully have everything pretty much sorted. And then if you need to, you may need to run sudo xcode build license. Sudo is the command for running with admin privileges. So it's going to ask for my password yet again. And this is essentially just a license acceptance, which you will need to agree to in order to use this. Note how it says press space. For more, we're gonna to go to the very end here, all the way to the end. And we have to type agree. Now that we've agreed, we can go on to the next step, which is to install Wine itself. So I'm gonna copy this exact command here, which is brew cask install wine dash stable. Let this install for a little while. You'll see lots of printout messages. Don't worry too much. We're gonna wait until we see the success message just like we did before. Note that it actually printed out that I need to install something else called xquartz. So if it gives you a command like that, definitely do this. This is a dependency for wine in this case. All right, and after a minute, it has told us that we have successfully installed this dependency and press enter a couple of times and press the up arrow twice to go back to my original install wine stable. Again, wine failed to install earlier because if this dependency wasn't there. I'm going to now rerun this install and hopefully it'll be successful this time. All right, and indeed it says it was successful. To test this, we're going to go ahead and close out this page. We don't need the rest. Uh, and then we're gonna try running our exe. I will note that if you had any issues installing, it may be also worthwhile to try running brew update. For instance, if you're having issues, just make sure that everything locally is up to date. But in our case, it was successful, so we don't need to do that. 
I'm gonna now unzip the Mineways download from the website. And here, I'm gonna first in the terminal window type wine space. Then I'm gonna drag over specifically the Mineways32.exe. That's indicating it is the 32-bit build. That is what is going to work with wine when run by this way on a Mac. When I press enter, you should successfully find that after a moment, it starts to run the exe and you even get the pop-up. Now the first time it is running, it may have to do some updates as we're seeing here. Uh, this may take a minute, so just let it complete that. Now you may get this pop-up to install Wine Momo. Not actually sure what this is, but we do need it to run. So if we press install, it's gonna go ahead and do that for us. We see there's another dependency we have to install. So again, we're gonna press install. And then finally, after a moment, you should find that, but yes, this is in fact the Mineways executable. Uh, if we were to go into file open world, you can see any of the random worlds that I have on my machine. Once I click on one, in fact, we can load it and everything. Again, whenever we want to open Mineways, instead of double clicking here, what we can run is on the folder Mineways, if you right click under services, open new terminal at folder, or go back to utilities as we did the first time, and then type wine. And again, we're gonna drag over the Mineways 32exe, or you can type capital M IE, and then just press tab to autocomplete, type 32.exe. And there we go, Mineways should again open this time, of course faster because everything was already installed. This is not an actual tutorial on Mineways itself. For that, please check out this video. If you had any issues, try commenting below or reference back to the Mineways help page and that page on installing Brew Wine. Uh, happy to help where I can. Hopefully this has been useful. Until next time.